Hello everybody, good day to you all. Today I am talking about Enola Holmes 2 and the Netflix original movie is a, is a sequel to the first one. Um, and the movie directed by um, Harry Bradbury. You also got Millie Bobby Brown, she plays play the Enola Holmes. You got um, Henry Cavill, who plays Sherlock Holmes. You got many other to the cast here as well too. And this is a continuation of the first movie. After she, now she, she pretty much, she saw the first case and now she's starting her own business and she's waiting for people to come in. She said, I'm going to be a detective now. I'm, I'm going to be just like my, just like my, my brother and other, and all the other great detective, detect, detectives out there. I'm going to be killing it. I'm going to be doing it every day. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do my thing. And the people are going to recognize me as one of the greatest detectives of all time. And the people started coming in. She started getting people and they said, how old are you? And then they also said, oh, but you're a girl. And also you're a child. Where are your parents? Is your brother here? Is somebody a supervisor in this situation? And she started realizing, oh, yeah. Because even I was there, I wouldn't hire her either. She's a child. So, and so, so, she, so she had a business opening and a business closing. Because no, no, no clients, no money. She can't pay her rent, so therefore she got to she gotta go. Yeah. But, 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 when she, but she, when she packing things up, a little girl comes in and says, hey, can you help me for my sister? And then the, and then the story goes on from there. Now, before I get into the good stuff, let's start with the bad. Not, there's not many really other bad things about the movie I didn't really like. I, I, I had no problem with it. I mean, like I said, it could get a little preachy, a little bit towards the end, but I understand what, they, what they're coming from and the message that they're trying to say. Um, but other than that, it wasn't that bad. It, it didn't take me out of the picture or nothing like that at all. Um, I mean, they do a gender swap and waist swap, a lot of things, but that didn't really bother me. And it kind of fit the roles that they, were, that they were trying to do in this world, so, it did, so I was okay with it. So other than that, it was okay. So let's move on to the positive. You got the positive part, you got Millie Bobby Brown. I think she does an amazing job of playing Anola Holmes. I really do enjoy her as this character. I also like Henry Cavill as Sherlock Holmes in this here as, as well too. Like I would never thought of Henry Cavill as Sherlock Holmes because he's so but 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 other than that, I think he fits the role just doesn't like perfectly. And I also like the chemistry they have between each other on on, on the film and when, when they do scenes together. And I really do like how they don't try to like um have her seem like she's a like she's smarter than Sherlock or she's better than Sherlock because because she's a girl. So they don't, they don't they don't do that. They manage to like have them both shine and show, and show both their skills and their abilities and what they're capable of doing. They also show their weaknesses as well too and how how, how good they are, and how they good they are working together as well. So and so it's not like one person like overshadowing the other person or one person make another person seem like they're smaller or less than the other person as well too and it also still managed to give Anola Holmes her, her shine because this is her movie without like putting down Sherlock as well I really do enjoy that it has a nice twist and turns in here I, I did I really did enjoy um, the, also the chemistry that you have between her her mother with um who played by um, um, Helen, Helena Carter I really do enjoy her, her scenes she having here as well too she's not in it that much her scene that she had her mom, but the, the little flat that they have and showing the chemistry on screen and showing the the um the words of wisdom she gives her mother, I really enjoy that as well too. And also the nice little sweet love story she has with um um I'm saying Turks Turkscrim Turkscrimberry, who's who's played by Lewis um Part Partridge, and I really do enjoy their chemistry on screen. I have, I have, I have like a, a love interest as well. And you see how this how it started off in the first movie, how it how it ends here as well. I really, I really, I really did enjoy that. It was, it's nice pro progression. It wasn't seem like it was forced or like in your face. It felt like that you were a cute couple and watching them together was actually quite quite nice, quite lovely. And they also balance each other out as well too, because she has skills that he doesn't have, and he has skills that she doesn't have too. Or they they complement each other just nicely as, as well. And so, and, and you also got that little twist from like from the bad guy that you didn't see coming. I did, I, actually, that I didn't see coming, and I really didn't enjoy how they did that as well too. And also it brings in some, some actual history in here as well too. So, so it is a fictional story in a fictional world, but it actually did bring in some actual history in here as well too. That's something that actually did happen, and the way they incorporated into that, I thought they did a great job with, of that as well. So the costume design I thought was quite done quite quite nicely. Um, the action scenes and the fight scene I thought I thought, I thought um, did an amazing job as well too. And I really do like enjoy how they have her fight scenes as well because they don't have her like overpowering everybody she does have some skill but she does get hurt as well too and she managed to like find her way to like the, the use of the skills and abilities that she has to people get over on, on, on the person that she's fighting as well so overall an, another fun movie another great installment to, to the franchise i'm looking forward to seeing it they might, they might, they might do a, a number a number three maybe Look for I'm, I'm looking forward to watching that one too as well too. So and, and this movie has a funny moments in here as well. So, as funny for so funny moments has some sweet moments in here I enjoy as well too. Cool action sequences that I really did enjoy. A nice cool, good bad guy for for, um, for, um, for both Anola Holmes and Sherlock to, to face off against as well. And I thought I thought all the action performances for everybody, even people that you didn't like, I thought they did a great job as well too. So. 
I highly recommend the movie. So it, it, it's giving me a great. I'm giving it a solid B. I'm giving it a solid B. Don't, don't take my word for it though. Check it out for yourself. Hopefully, when you watch it, you will enjoy having watching it too. So give my channel a like, hit the thumbs up, shaboop, and subscribe to my channel and share. I really do appreciate it. Like I always say, and also before I leave out, links down below. Can I show you my um, social media? If you want to follow me there? Thank you. Also, to all my stories where I sell shirts and socks and what's not, everything else in between. This is my shirt right here. This is my Harvard University shirt. Harvard University. Your dreams can't come true. It's a magical place. Check it out. See some stuff. Buy some stuff. If you do, thank you. So like I always say, in my dreams of a life, I am the Ninja Rabbit. Uh, peace out, uh, people.